Okay, my friend, sorry today I am a little <laughs> cold cough. Uh, I'm a little ill. So you have now we had the vagusal procedure. It is three days after the procedure now. And uh, I'm making this video because you, you also had some symptoms of prostatitis before the procedure. Yeah. How did you understand that you have varicocele? How old are you now? What were your symptoms? Uh, 38. I'm 38 now. Um, I sometimes was, I was used to lift up. Uh, Heavy objects? Yeah, like weight lifting. Every week. And uh, do you have pain? Yeah, then when I, what I'm still doing, then one day I feel like something happened to my back. Okay. Uh, I cannot move. Yeah. Then after a few weeks, I feel a pain right on top of the testicle. In the testicle part? On top. Yeah, and it was after waiting some yeah, hairy, hairy yeah. thing. Um, Is it so because of your job? Uh, no, because of I was going to a gym. Okay, in the gym. Training training. Hands, yeah. Yeah, so this gym is a little really dangerous for uh, our patients. Yeah. They have to be very careful when lifting objects after the procedure too, after the varicocele operation. Mm. I want to I want them to make the lift uh, lifting heavy things mm. very carefully for three months. After three months, it will be better, but we will have to be very yeah, careful. Yeah. Then uh, after a while, I was. Uh, Going up and down to the urology, yeah. they say nothing wrong with you. Okay. Uh, they they see some the liquid cell? in on the, my left test, but they say hydro cell, right? Yeah, they say it's not. Um, no need for operation. Just no. They they never told me I have a varicocele. Cell. Varicocele, cell, I diagnosed myself. Oh yes. Yeah, I just said. Um, but the veins are very prominent. We, we, it was easily, we can feel the waves from outside, didn't they diagnose this? No, they did. Ah, okay. Yeah. I, I only uh, diagnosed myself. Yes. When I look at the people, I watch some of the videos. Yes. Sometimes I feel, uh, so at that time, yeah. I feel like my veins is charged. Yeah. Yeah. And it was very painful going inside my, this my veins, like, my veins like, is like going inside. Yes. So then I feel pain and cannot sleep, warm up all over. Yeah. And was it not uh, like this maybe one year before? Where the, was there a symptom like this? Or? Uh, immediately, yeah, one year after I feel first pain. Yes. And it's keep on uh, getting more. So the problem so was. The, the varicocele, you did this weightlifting, you made the varicocele veins enlarged, then the symptoms started. Yes, and symptoms <coughs> started, yeah. Okay. So, but I didn't know I have a preface because yeah. the urologist, they never told me I have a problem, uh, but it's warm, I cannot uh, sleep, yeah. uh, and then after two years, I... Two years? Yeah, yes. I was getting worse every year because I was just going and running and doing everything yeah. because I didn't know this is the cause. Yeah. And then uh, later yeah. I found, I do my own research, I found some of your videos, other yeah. videos, then it's where I... Uh, but you had the diagnosis also in the United States, right? They, they, after, did they do an ultrasound? They do an ultrasound, but they, they found nothing. Okay. They say you're okay, maybe epidemic. Epidemis, yeah, yeah. epidemitis. Yeah, yeah okay. epidemitis, yeah. But, but when you come here, we do the Doppler uh, test in the standing up position yeah. and we see larger veins, larger than 3 millimeters, yeah. and uh, we resected them actually in the operation, we take out them and uh, there were really prominent veins. Uh, of course, it is now very, very uh, new after the procedure, 3 days, just 3 days, yeah. but did you feel any change after the procedure? Yeah, um, I feel like... Uh, I know more feeling a lot of hot. Yeah. That hotness. Yeah. I can uh, go under the blanket yeah. in the night because yeah. I even cold. I cannot go under the blanket. Yes. Uh, so I feel much relief. Yes. Uh, heaviness, no more heaviness. Yeah. No more. Heaviness hot. has gone. Hotness has now better. Hotness is much better. Yeah. Yeah. Much yeah. better. And the heaviness back pain has also is better. much better. And now, of, of course, it is only three, four days after the surgery. So there's scar tissue now, 
edema in the tissues, swelling. So it will be much more better in the following weeks. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you also had frequency, uh, some urine frequency after before the procedure, right? Yeah, before the procedure, I was having a, a frequent uh, urination, yeah. and that one is very hot. So w which one is hot? The urine is. Your urine is urine was hot. It's hot, and it was like a leaking. No? Like, like there is some infection. You were thinking that there was some yeah I, I i told them to to check if i have a prostate yeah prostates or if i have an infection many many times they say no you are, you don't yes. have any infection you don't have any prostate so we think there is some relation between the varicocell and prostatitis there is a german study saying that uh, there is when there is varicocell it uh, increases the risk of having prostate infections with the connection of the veins uh, venous complexes around the prostate and the testicle yeah. and I think it's because of uh, the increase in pressure in the veins varicocele veins mm -hmm. also increases the pressure inside the spam channel and it travels to prostate so they are connected uh, so we always do prostate massage during uh, varicocele operations when the patient is under anesthesia we control we examine the prostate if there is a suspicion that there may be infection. We compress the prostate and drain the liquid. Mm -hmm. So you had this, uh, we, we did it to you, and you had some liquid coming out. Uh, then you feel very nice about the frequency for three days. Then maybe it come back again? Yeah. Yeah, so first last three days, night. First three days, I, even though I have a lot of urine, but I don't feel in a pain. Yeah. I can sit the whole night yeah. and go to the bathroom morning and uh, really nicely, it yeah. can flow is very nice, it's very sharp. Flow, they changed, right? They changed, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. then we drain the prostate, but um, unfortunately, it will uh, refill very quickly. So we need to do it a couple of times. Maybe uh, I will call you one more time before you leave. Mm -hmm. So we will do it. Uh, so today I did it for the second time, yeah. and for the third time, I will do it. If your symptoms come back after one or two months. You need to come back one more time, maybe three months later, maybe six months later. But we will call you back one more time because this prostate inflammation needed needs repeated prostate massages. Uh, it may be repeated one or two, sometimes three, even maybe more. But it will be very, you will feel the relief. You will feel the difference. So I hope it will not be needed too much and it will dry easily. Uh, but we will do it to you one more time before you leave. Uh, and then in the future, if needed, you will come back again for yeah, this. I and I will give some medications for it, mm -hmm. some supplements, some antibiotics. You will use antibiotics for 20 days and then you will use some Amidates. supplements. Amidates. 20 days. 20, 20 days. 20. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is the classic prostate treatment for us in Western world prostate massage is not done and they use six weeks of antibiotics but I think it's not working as good as our procedure our protocol so yeah thank you for telling this uh, event this yeah. story uh, yeah for sharing it with us because there are many people with such symptoms they don't even understand they have prostatitis you warned me before the procedure, you may have this, and yeah, we look and we yeah, find this yeah. prostate yeah. inflammation. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for coming yeah. to Turkey for a very cell procedure yeah. too. Yeah. Thank you.